If you are learning something without having any blueprint, it is just like going out of the home with having no idea of where you want to go. You may reach any destination but you will have a lot of doubts and your vision will be not clear. So before start learning anything, you should know what are the important things as an index. In this video, I am explaining you the complete syllabus of automation course. Chapter 1 Industrial Introduction Here I am explaining what is mean by industry and how the industry works. Chapter 2 What is Instrumentation Technology Here I am explaining clearly about the what is mean by instrument, what is mean by instrumentation and what exactly instrumentation engineers do. Chapter 3 How is a project carried out? Because you should know if you want to work in any company, you should know where the project is starting and where the project is ending. Based on that, I am explaining how an project is carried out in the plant. Chapter number 4 A brief introduction on automation job. In this chapter, I am explaining once you get the job in any automation company, what will be your working nature. Chapter 5 Types of industries. Here I am explaining what are the types of industries and how the industry works. Chapter 6 Leading automation companies and their application area with services. So, as an instrumentation engineer, automation engineer, we should know what are the leading companies in the market right now and what are the application of their products so that from this we will get to know the clear idea about our instrumentation market. Chapter 7 Data Types Data Types are the building blocks of programming in PLC. So it is very important to know about the data types. Chapter 8 Logic Gates We have studied every one of us. We have studied about the logic gates in the PUC, engineering. So in MTech also we will learn. But we don't know exactly where we are applying it. So learning about the logic gates is very important because without the logic gates programming cannot be done. Chapter 9 Types of signals. So in every stage of technical studies so we have studied about the signals that is called the analog signals and digital signals. What actually these signals do? Why we want all these signals? So in this chapter I am explaining all this. Chapter 10 Measuring Instruments As an instrumentation engineer we should know what all the instruments we are using in the industry for the measurement and how they work, what are the working principles. So all these things we will explain in this chapter. Chapter 11 is Automation Pyramid. So in Automation Pyramid how the pyramid we will build from the bottom to top. So what are the blocks how they keep. So what are the levels in the automation system in this one uh, in this chapter I am explaining about that. So chapter 12 it is P and ID reading. You all know about P and ID that is piping and instrumentation diagram. Why actually we want this P and ID diagram? What is the main purpose of it? In the project why we are using these important things and all I will tell in this chapter. Chapter number 13. Basics of typical loops. So what are those typical loops? Why we are using? How we, we are reading any analog signals? If, we, if I want to send uh, on some motor or if I want to make some uh, set point to the motor to increase the rpm speed how i am doing this and all things will come on the basics of typical loops chapter number 14 input and output assignment it is just like assignment what we are doing in the colleges means some input is given by the college so we are working on that and we are making one assignment same here also we will get some input from the customers based on that we will create an assignment so from there our programming will start chapter number 15 basics of plc and hmi here i am explaining about plc working hmi working and how to make uh, uh, real programming from the plc this and all we will learn chapter number 16 basics of dcs and scada here we will learn what is dcs what is scada actually what is the difference between plc and dcs what is the difference between hmi and scada all these things we will learn in this chapter Chapter number 17. It is very interesting that is basics of PLC and DCS programming. 
here we will learn all the things about the programming how to program where to program how i can install the software everything we will learn here chapter number 18 communication protocols you have heard these two words in different ways communication and protocol but actually what is mean by protocol with what communication we are doing in the plc so if you take as plc and hma what is the communication between them what is the protocol we are using so that things and all we will discuss here chapter number 19 basics of safety system safety is nothing but which is saving us from some dangerous situations so in the plant also there will be some safety system which is always checking about the safety of the plant so that one we will explain here and the final chapter is chapter number 20 it is called as basics of fat sat and commissioning here we are checking about the after the programming everything is done in the factory we will test all the our programmings and graphics so this one is called as the fat factory acceptance test and commissioning so after commissioning what we will do the brief information everything we will discuss here once we learn all these 20 chapters i am try, i will try to complete it as soon as possible if we learn all these and get, if you get to know the minimum idea of all these i am sure you will be just equal to the two years experience of a person who is already working in the industry okay so in the next video i am uh, coming up with the industrial introduction so till then see you bye bye